Good morning, my Ramonse, my wonderful people. It's been a long time. Uh, I know I've been uh, struggling to pump out some YouTube videos, but hey, that's life. This is adulthood. So in this video, just want to give you a quick uh, life update. See how everybody's doing. Um, just share the good life right here in Chigali, Rwanda. Anyway, I'm right here in my uh, front garden. There are some loud noises construction our neighbors are building some stuff we we're between two people two houses that are being constructed so i hope you can still hear me well that's why i have this mic close to me so guys let me start this video off by just asking you questions how do entrepreneurs the ones who are watching how do you guys handle sick days you see i've been sick the past few days but that does not stop me from working and i have a like a something that looks like a lazy eye i don't know but it's not a lazy eye, but it's just some kind of thing above my eyelid that's blocking my eye a little bit. So when I look like, um, like this, it's, it's a bit weird. Yeah? Forgive me for that. So for the entrepreneurs out there who, who work for themselves, how, how do you guys handle it when you are sick? Because when I'm sick, I still can do some work on the computer. And that makes me feel like maybe I'm not that sick. But I've been resting, taking it easy a little bit. But... Yeah, I don't know. How do you guys do it? Do you just call it a day or do you still continue working? Anyway, guys, in this video, I just want to give you a quick uh, life update. First, first of all, guys, um, I know I like to share all the good things about Rwanda, but not everything is good. Not per se with Rwanda, but with life. You know, this is adulthood. I'm struggling, really struggling, um, mainly on like uh, three fronts, I would say. Um, when I say struggling, you know, take it with a, a grain of salt. I'm not a person who likes to complain a lot, but I'm also kind of a realist. I like to say it how it is, and uh, adulthood is not easy. Now I'm like in my mid-30s, you would say, and I feel like I'm reliving a new type of adulthood that I did not have uh, before. Um, like, first of all, a few months ago, I got married, and like I maybe mentioned to some of you guys. And getting married is another life accomplishment, I guess. It's a bigger deal than I thought. And I uh, had a, uh, one of my brothers ask me like, Theo, is marriage worth it? <laughs> Should men get married in these years? Because I made a video about it. Uh, and then I told him like, well, honestly, um, maybe I'm not the right person to, to ask this question because I've only been married a few months. But so far, so good. Uh, like I said, it's been four months, um, so the coming 20 years is going to show whether it was worth it or not. But for now, I've not yet received the full wedding video that we paid for, for a lot of money, by the way. Uh, it's taking too long, guys. Uh, if you're watching there, guy, uh, Kanyeba, come on, I need my wedding video. So after the wedding, after I came back from the, uh, from the wedding, the wedding happened in Belgium. When me and my now wife, Delise, when we came back, we were basically broke. Uh, like many weddings, I've realized they are always more expensive than you think. Um, and also, I had some sad income gigs that I was doing in the consultancy. One stopped before the wedding, the other one stopped right after uh, we came back here in Rwanda. So all that extra income, whoop, went away. Um, yeah, so that has not been easy. It has been kind of like... Um, you know, when you once sometimes you're like in this financial high and now you're like in a financial low and you have to readjust, you know, nothing too crazy, but you do feel it in your pockets. Luckily, the gym was going uh, uh, well, it uh, survived. I must say, it was the first time that I left my gym, my baby, uh, into my employees, and they did an awesome job. I even got some compliments from clients who tell me that these guys really stepped up and did, um, did it so well. Um, so that part is taken care of, but now that I'm living like this new married lifestyle, uh, now you get <laughs> mostly my Rwandan aunties and parents who are now expecting kids. Um, so then we tried having children and I've learned the first lesson is that you don't get automatically children <laughs> once you have unprotected sex. Uh, it's a whole process, guys. You know, do you remember back in the days when people were telling you about sex and that if you look at a girl without a condom in your pocket, she's going to get pregnant? Well, I can tell you now, guys, it, that's not how it works. It's, uh, it's a journey. But I must say, I've never felt so wanted and needed 
at the same time in my life. So, so far, I would give marriage a 9 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. I would, I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if it did not, uh, if it was not so expensive, actually. Um, on the second front, guys, the struggle life continues. On, my, on the social life uh, event, I've realized that I've been living kind of like a loner life, not really going out there, not making any new friends. I know I chose this life because I needed this life in order to focus on the business, to be focused and to build the necessary steps, you know, for it to flourish in the future. But I must say, yeah, it's not easy. It's, um, it's, it's, yeah, you, you kind of feel it the moment when you want to kind of chill and relax. Luckily, I have my wife now, which whom I spend 90% of my time with. Um, but even my wife, who is more of an introvert, she really loves her space and being at home is for her like a bless. So she's also not going out there and socializing a whole bunch. So we are both just like, I don't know, home buddies now. Uh, even though when I'm home, I'm mostly working. Uh, but still, the end result is the same. Uh, but now in this end of the year, maybe New Year, I'm going to try to be out there a little bit more often to make it an effort. Um, because I realize we are social beings and you cannot always just put work, work, work above everything else. As you can see by the lack of videos on this uh, YouTube channel, uh, I have been struggling to, add, uh, to create some new content. Um, so my apologies for that, but guys, I never give up. So whenever I can, I'm going to be up updating you guys with these videos. And I've already recorded the next video, which is going to be coming soon, hopefully after this video. Uh, the lastly is the business part, guys. So like I said, the business part has been going well. A bit too well. So well that I, it's kind of like the good things are kind of affecting it in a way. I remember when I was like 16 in Amsterdam, where I grew up, uh, I went to this small gym in my, in my neighborhood. Um, it was this like, you know, foreign guy, I think it was like Korean, who had this dojo where he's giving kickboxing and he had like a gym on the side. So I went there for the gym. And I, I went to do like a workout. I was running on a treadmill for like an hour, you know. Back then, that was like basically my, my warm-up, you know, to, before I started lifting weights. Um, but the problem was the gym only had two treadmills, I believe. And so my warm-up workout for an hour took a bit too long. And some clients started to complain about the lack of uh, availability of equipment. Even one crazy guy went and started running behind me on that same treadmill which was obviously very dangerous and now looking at it, at it as a also a gym owner I realize that's also probably not uh, the capacity of the treadmill so the treadmill could have broken um, anyway the, the owner came and intervened you know to not to make a fuss out of it and he decided to to refund my my gym membership money even though I did not ask for it uh, but I remember look he had like this very sad face uh, you know face basically and later you know I put two and two together is that because he was feeling kind of like defeated because you know the one client was basically pushing away his other client and now he could not you know find another solution other than to give back the money so this experience stuck with me I never wanted to go down by my own success um, so now that the gym has been growing it has been going well we've organized another competition recently which went super awesome um we, you know the, the 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 competition has been more fierce uh, i love just watching this uh, footage um oh by the way on a side note um my videographer guy <sighs> he lost my footage the footage of that day you know it got corrupted or something when he was transferring into his hard drive and now he's trying to revive it but it's been months now and yeah so uh, anyway what can you do guys it's uh it's yeah you live and you learn you know luckily we had a, a separate photographer who had this awesome photos that you're seeing and uh, kind of saved the day to be honest otherwise i don't know what i would have done anyway so uh, we've had a surge of new clients in the gym. I also got interviewed by the Rwanda newspaper um, who came to visit and they, they also loved uh, uh, what, what they were seeing. You know, you can find the full uh, interview in the link below this video. And so we are now, I think, nearing max capacity of the gym members, uh, of the space. Like our evening classes are often overbooked. Our morning are like 60 to 70%. So, it, 
it is like an awesome feeling, but at the same time, it, for me, it kind of pains me to see that um, I, I want to add more clients, but I can't. So guys, starting from uh, next month, December 2022, I'm going to actively start looking for a, a another space, a big commercial space, and I thought I'll take you along with me. Yeah? So guys, uh, stay tuned for that video. Um, like, I, like I said, this was just a quick update to let everyone how uh, to, to check on everyone. Let me know you guys how you guys are doing and let me know if there's any specific video or you would like uh, me to make because I'm running out of inspiration, like I said, because I'm at home working or in the gym working. Nothing in between actually. So my life it looks kind of boring, but yeah, I still love sharing my wonderful life with you guys, especially for the guys who are I'm also interested in moving to Rwanda like me and setting up a shop right here. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I would like to see you all in the next video. Muramuche. Bye-bye. Zai-zai.